I was doing a research today to produce this video and I noticed that there are almost 50 different soaps every state or so has its own little hustle or different stations I remember in the Caribbean uh, it was Dallas and um, Dynasty but I never really was fascinated with them I'm not into romantic novels and all that stuff but I've known at least two people who are avid soap operas and both of them have heart problems they don't hear right and the vision is a problem uh, they will they will have to schedule things around the show in other words you can't talk to them between um, maybe uh, I think it's 11 o'clock to start on 3 you, they don't go anywhere af until after that or before that and they have to finish the business to come back to, to watch the show I remember when I was in Florida uh, attending a college I was doing Microsoft Office I think it was 97 and um, some young ladies they're making it clear that it was uh, I think it was Raymond was showing it. Man, we got to go. As soon as they come into the class, they're ready to go. And if the teacher playing crazy, you don't want to, you know, let it go. They're going to leave. They're going to say, I'm going to the restroom. or take the bag and just walk out. At the end of the term, of course, some of them will get A's because they're white and so on. And he's white and all that. Um, you know, I, I, I stuck with the course and I think I must have gotten what I earned. But if these folks leave and all that early, I'm sure they can't really function and do the test. And so they're given good grades but I, I, I want to believe the people who are behind these soap operas truly are the enemy see we, we really look forward to see um, the Taliban and the Al Qaeda as the enemy but I think uh, we have some domestic terrorists that are doing things that are creating more horror than uh, these terrorists and I believe that soap operas Previously, it used to be like a romance, or oh, meet this nice lady, and it's about a little love affair over there, and bring up the family nice and so on. But today, now it's about controversy. Every every episode or every little flick to go to a different scene is somebody shouting, somebody, somebody fighting, somebody getting somebody, and they're always with a voice raised and like they're angry. And the people watching it, I know that uh, the Bible says, "By beholding, you become changed." So some people say, "Oh, it don't affect me," but uh, they have heart problems, eye problems. Uh, hearing problems I don't understand maybe they're because they're dumb or something they don't understand it could affect them because you can't live in a stress and it's not gonna affect you and this is what they're doing this stressful situation every day every day every day every day it will give them heart problems so plus they become very fictitious because I know some of them they have like six or seven felonies for the same thing uh, do not do this do not do that I mean you could be before you even get the first one you should be able to figure out that this thing ain't gonna work and you'll get arrested as a felony for that but no they keep they got first seven times so I think that uh, whoever the enemy is behind these soap operas there they're scoring well because folks are getting very trivial and when they have big important jobs if they qualify then they're gonna be able to be trivial and they can't function properly so I, I, I admire those who like the soap operas but not me